a blessed blessed monday morning peoples how are y'all today listen listen it's a delight to come to you today listen i was trying to get to y'all on the weekend but things just wasn't working out with these phones you know what i'm talking about but listen i am so happy that i could come to you today listen I have no strength unless it come from the Most High. So on His strength, I am here to talk to you guys. Listen. Now, first of all, we have to remember. Because see, only going through this thing, I could talk to plenty of people. I only could tell you from my experience. 55 ain't nothing to play with. You know you look good and stuff like that, but Jesus, listen, your body's going through so much stuff. So, you know, we got to take care of these body. We got to eat properly, drink our water. You got to get your healthy meal. Do your walk-in, you know? Keep the heart pump up. Do your little walk in. 15, 20 minutes, you do your walk in. Okay? You gotta put that in there. And then you know some little areas on your side to hurt, like your hand. Then when you look your foot, then you heal. All kind of things. But you know, I thank God because I'm alive. I thank God for Jesus. I thank God. So we gotta read upon these things. And before we reach this age and stuff like that, you got to know, you know, what was going on before it happened, man. Because these things just hurt. You know what I'm talking about? But guess what? Every day that I wake up and could open my mouth and speak, and my motor skills are working, and I could breathe, and I could see, and I could talk to you all, and to my daddy, it's an honor. So top of them the blessed Monday morning to all of you in the year of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ just coming to you to let you know that listen no matter what may be the test no matter what you're going through no matter how it look no matter how it seem hallelujah God got it you have to give it to him now because remember, he don't force himself on nobody. He don't. He give each and every one of us a free will. He laid on the table and he said, Either take it or leave it. It's your choice. You choose. But I could tell you, listen to me. Let me tell you. I've been through it. I'll choose him again and again and again and again and again because he means so much to me. Listen, trust him. And guess what? While we are it, stand together for what you believe. Work for what must be done. Love each other in all that you do. Tell all God's people are one. But we got to stand up for our country. We got to stand up for our Bahamas. We got to stand up for our children. We got to stand up for ourselves. Know who we are and whose we are. Don't let nobody take advantage of you or the circumstances in which you are in because it ain't permanent. It's only temporary. Things change. So listen people. Know that families are important. It is, it is so important to love family. It is so important to stand up and support family. You know, I was so happy. I have one of my sisters, you know, one of my family members in the U.S. That's where she live and 
you know, her and her hubby came over for the weekend. It was such an honor to have her here to, you know, that we could come together and we were able to come together as a family and have, you know, fun together. And that's what it's all about. Love each other. Put rules and regulations down in your home and listen, abide by it and let others who there abide by the rules and the regulation in your home. Run our country with rules and regulation and stop allowing all these things that do not supposed to be here and what's supposed to be in order to be out of whack. That is not how you run the country. You know, let's get it together. You know, what is mine? What is ours? We have to know how to take care of it. You understand where I'm coming from. Mom, listen here. It's such a delight and an honor and a privilege just, just to just to talk to you today. To let you know that Jesus Christ is still the King of Kings. We got to get all excited again. Huh? Listen. Get back in church. Stop making excuses to say, Oh, the pastor ain't doing this. Listen. If the pastor ain't doing it, you know, right from wrong, then don't follow suit. But guess what? You know what the words say. You have to run the country on truth. You have to run the country on honesty. You have to run the country on love. You have to do the same thing in your home. You cannot run the country on, on truth. It has to be true. It has to be honesty, not dishonesty. See, wrong can be right, and right can't be wrong. We have to run it right. Let's get things together and move this country forward. And guess what? Get it clean up. Get our act together. Who ain't doing what is right? Get them out. Who doing what is right? Move forward. And let's move this country forward. For who? For our children and our children's children. Hmm? We got to get it right. We got to do what is right. Huh? Ma, listen here. I'm just, I'm just delighted today to be alive. You know? I'm just delighted today to know that what I'm doing today, I couldn't do it before. But God. But God, I tell you, trust Him. Trust Him. No matter how it look or how it seem, trust God. Trust God. He will bring you through. He will bring you through every circumstances, every situation. Try Him. He never fail. It's a joy, an honor, a privilege to all of you who, who have lost loved ones and you know so many things are going on in our country and you know people are dying and you know all this thing but listen I, may God sustain you may he comfort you may he wrap you in his arms and just rock you today you know I am so delighted to come to you. This is Charmaine Morris. Until next time, the joy of the Lord is whose strength? Our strength in Jesus' name. Love you.